Jason and not my own. Hippie tie, I owe. Get along, you little doggies. You know that the prairie will be your new home. And now for Lightning Jim in his thrilling adventure, Jesse James Helps the Marshals. Well, it looks like something's quite a train around here. I can't imagine what... What's the train stopping here for? Well, I don't know. Maybe the engine broke down. Keep your seats, folks. Well, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Did you hear what he said? Hold up. Hey, don't move. Don't move. Don't move at the James boys. Yo, yo, what's the trouble, Lightning? The train was just held up in Rob, near Baxter. You been here, man. I bet you was that you go, yes, the game. Let's go, Thunder. In the years following the Civil War, the name Jesse James struck fear and terror in the hearts of the peaceful folk in Missouri, Kansas, and the Great Plains country of the West. In the following Lightning Jim adventure, we relive those stirring and exciting days when Jesse James was public enemy number one on the plane. We join a crowd of men gathered in front of the sheriff's office in the town of Center. The sheriff has just posted a reward sign. Well, there it is, boys. $5,000 reward for the capture of Jesse James, dead or alive. $5,000 is a heap of cash to offer for one man, Sheriff. Oh, that ain't so much money, Tom. You're darn tootin' it ain't so much, mister. It'll be $25,000 if the law don't soon catch up with them critters. <laughs> and I'm hoping it'll be my good luck to turn the trick. That's the way to talk, Sheriff. I say, if there was more sheriffs like you... Jesse James wouldn't have a chance. <laughs> hey, of course he wouldn't. Sheriff, hey, Sheriff, what? what do you want, Bad? Sheriff, they done it again. Done what again? What? Who are you talking about? The, the James boy. The, the James boy. Yeah, sure, they just held up the train at Cottonwood Junction. Well, I, well, I, you sure? You, it, you yeah. sure it was the James boys? Yeah, sure. I was the conductor on that train. There was five of them, Jasper. Five, right? I'm sure the leader was Jesse James himself. Well, yeah. all right, boys, yeah. we're getting up. A pause it right now and going after them critters. Come on. So, the James boys just held up a train at Cottonwood Junction. Looks like we got a little competition, Jesse. Yeah, reckon we got to find out who it is, Frank. Yeah. It's too bad the sheriff didn't know he was meeting up with Jesse James. Why, uh, remember, you're Cousin Elmer and I'm Tom Howler. <laughs> well, boys, that train at Cottonwood Junction was a sin. Yeah, sure it was. Yeah, but the best part of it is the James boys is going to get the blame. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you said a mouthful, Boots, and we're just beginning. All we got to do is pick some nice, juicy, ripe banks and trains, and the law badges will think it's Jesse James. <laughs> that ought to give you a real laugh, Boots. Yeah. <laughs> Especially since I used to be in the James gang myself. Yeah, that's right, Boots. Well, what happened to you? Well, I had a little argument with Jesse one day. Uh-huh. He's got a trigger-fingered temper, and when he gets mad... Like a wildcat. Yeah, I know that. Well, I drawed and he drawed. 
When the smoke cleared, I was carrying three bullets and he was gone. Yeah, yeah what do you know about that? Well, yeah. you can thank your stars you live to tell about it. Yeah, but someday I'm going to meet up with Jesse and even up that score. Well, you're the only one in this bunch that knows Jesse James by sight when he ain't got a mask on. Don't worry. I'll let you know if we ever run into him. Well, I ain't worrying about that. You boys stick with Missouri Mike and we'll all get rich. Don't you worry. We're with you, Mike. We're with you. What's our next move, Mike? Yo, you and Pete and Jake go back to the hideout. Me and Butts is going into center. There's a gold shipment due out of there, and I'm aiming to find out about it. You boys wait till we get back. You betcha. We'll be there. We'll be there. Lightning, I forgot to ask you where we was going. To a place called Center, the railroad town. Oh, you think maybe that's where we'll find them, yes, the James boys. I don't know about that, Whitey. But if it was the James boys who held up that train at Baxter, that means they're working this country. Yo, uh, see, you ever met up with uh, this, yes, the James? Nope. Well, then how are we going to know them if we do meet up with them? Well, the pictures is on the reward signs. Sure, oh, I saw them. But that might not help us much, Whitey. Oh, well, why not? Well, this Jesse James is clever, Jasper. I figure he keeps himself pretty well disguised. Your lightning, that makes it pretty hard, I tell you. <laughs> well, cheer up, Whitey. Just remember that the James boys have fooled every sheriff and marshal in the country. Yo, but they was that got to do with us. Well, not much, I reckon, except that we can't feel too bad if we don't meet up with them. Yeah, I tell you, I heard so much about this, yes, the James. I think I'll be pretty doggone disappointed if I don't meet him. Well, who knows, Whitey? Maybe you'll be the lucky Jasper to catch him. There's a five thousand dollar reward on his head right now. Five thousand dollar? Yeah. See, if I had that much money, I could eat all the steak dinner I wanted, my golly. <laughs> Wolf on the wolf, boy. Hold on, buddy. Hey, what's the trouble? Look down yonder by the river there. For them cottonwoods. Yo, what you fellers and horseback? Uh, what about them? Well, they look suspicious to me, buddy. The minute they saw us, they rode off fast. Yo, by golly. Come on, buddy. Let's follow them, Jasper. Let's go, Thunder. <laughs> I think we give them a slip, Mike. Maybe so. But we ain't taking chances. We'll separate here. You go south and circle back to the town. I'll come in from the west. Sure. Say, who do you reckon them hombres might be? Your guess is as good as mine. Might be law badges. Yeah. I'll meet you at the cafe in town. Yeah, all right. Say, look. What? Yeah, men. And they're coming this way. Come on, we'll slip into them trees over yonder and wait till they get by. Yeah, get up there. Like them James boys covered up the tracks pretty slick. Yeah, no use following this trail. Yeah. Hey, hey, somebody's coming. Yeah, two riders. Maybe hey, them. Yeah, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. We won't need to go after them. They're coming this way. No, no, they're turning down to the river. Nation, uh, maybe it's them James varmints. Come on, boys. Come on, get up there. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Covered and we'll drill you if you make a move for your guns. All right, mister. Yeah. That's better. Take a good look at them, Jasper's bud. See if you can tell if they're the ones that robbed the train. Yeah, sure. Uh, I don't recognize the big fella. Yeah? But that skinny hombre with him looks like he might be one of them. You sure? I reckon so. I don't know what you're talking about, Sheriff, but you boys... Shut up! I'll do the talking and you do the answering. Where the same hell are you? Oh, Thunder Ho, boys. Steady, steady now. Hey, what'd you call that horse? Just call him Thunder. Thunder? The only horse I ever heard of that name belongs to a United States Marshal. That's right. Belongs to Jim Whipple. Sure. Fort Anderson. Why, sure. Lightning Jim. 
Never met up with him, and I never seen his horse, but I've heard plenty about both of them. Well, Sheriff, that horse is the real Thunder. Oh, yes. oh and this is Lightning Yim. Lightning Yim. Oh, by golly, Thunder and Lightning. Oh. Yeah, Lightning knows. Jesse James Hombres are sure giving us a headache. Right. You say there was a train hold up at Cottonwood Junction? Yeah, that's right. I was the conductor on the train when it happened. How many was there? Five. And they was all wearing masks. Well, was there any gold on the train? Yep, not on that one. So they only got cash for the passengers, huh? Yep. But there's a gold shipment due to go through today or tomorrow. I see. Are you sure about that, bud? That's what I heard. Well, I think we'll go over to the railroad and find out for sure. You think those varmints will try it again so soon, Lightning? Well, they might. James boys work fast and unexpected. And if they hear about the gold, well, they might strike again. Say, uh, Lightning, uh, you don't know, uh, need me, do you? Why? Well, I ain't had no supper, and I was just thinking. <laughs> hey, he say, you just come along with me, Whitey. My sister Liz is a waitress over at the cafe. Well, by golly, that's the best news I heard since we got there. I see, uh, do they serve good steaks? It's the best in the state. Well, you're penimous. Let's go. But, Whitey, what about Jesse James? Oh, to heck with him. If he wants to see me, he's got to come over to Liz's cafe. A man you compare yes to James with a steak dinner. Oh. <laughs> Howdy, Cousin Elmer. Ah, hello, Tom. Hey, Lightning Jim and his deputy just came in town. Well, that's mighty interesting, Elmer. Yes, it is. There goes the sweet deputy in the cafe. Well, I'm sorry you can't join me, Elmer. I, I reckon I'll go over to the cafe for a bite. Wait at the room and host. See you later, Elmer. All right, Tom. Well, looks like there might be some excitement in the center cafe. Will Whitey meet up with a famous Jesse James? And what about Missouri Mike and Boots? The rest of this thrilling story will come in part two, which will follow immediately. And now for part two of this Lightning Jim adventure, Jesse James Helps the Marshals. Following a train robbery at Cottonwood Junction, United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy Whitey Lawson come to the nearby town of Center. The fame of the James boys caused them to be blamed for nearly every bank and train holdup that occurred. Taking advantage of this situation, an outlaw known as Missouri Mike and his partner Boots Bragg, a former member of the James gang, organized a band of his own. They held up the train at Cottonwood Junction and planned another holdup. But they did not know that the real Jesse James and his brother Frank were also in town. Bud Larkin, a conductor on the railroad, took Whitey to the center cafe where Bud's sister Liz waits on table. Mike and Boots are seated at the counter. Another cup of coffee, sister. Sure. Uh, find out anything, Mike? Yeah. It's going out tonight. Here you are, mister. Well, thanks, beautiful. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Boots, there's a gal at his real place. Ah, uh, they're all alike. Best way to keep out of trouble is to keep away from women. Not me. I like them and I can handle them, too. Ah, uh, you can't trust them. What's your plan, Mike? Hello, oh, Bud. Howdy, Liz. Howdy. I'll tell you later. Oh, all right. Hey, Liz. I want you to meet a friend of mine. This is Whitey Larson. Mm, howdy, mister. Glad to know you. Oh, thank you, and I'm pleased to meet you, too, by Gallus. Uh, 
Hey, Liz, I told Whitey you had the best steak dinners in the whole state. You're, uh, you know, miss, there's only one thing I like better than a big, juicy steak. Uh, what's that, mister? Two of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you can eat them, we've got them. You want all the trimmings, too? No, oh, sure thing. All right. How about you, bud? Uh, oh, the same. Two steers in a pasture and give them all you've got. Yeah, <laughs> you got the nice sister, bud. Yep, yep, Liz is a great kid. Uh, we'll sit there at the end of the counter, Whitey. Oh, sure, that's all right. See, you see them two yiggers at the other end of the counter? Yeah. They've been watching us pretty close. Mm. They look like tough customers, if you ask me. Oh, I want to keep an eye on them. Hey, give me a hunk of pie. Yeah, well, come on. I'd like to have some Here you are. Thanks, sister. Hey, Boots. Yeah? See them two hombres that just came in? Yeah. The fat one is the conductor that was on that train at Cottonwood Junction. Yeah. You're right, Mike. Just a cup of coffee, man. Say, Mike. Yeah. That hombre that just asked for coffee. Well, what about him? It's him. Jesse James? Yeah. Oh, there's Come on. Uh, what do you want, bud? I reckon we'd like some more bread and coffee. Right. Hey, what's the trouble, Whitey? Don't you like the steak? Hey, oh, but I was just looking at them two yakers. Yeah. Looks like they're watching this chap below us. Yo. Yo, Benny, Benny. What's the matter? Them yakers is pulling guns. Hey, put them guns back! <laughs> You all right? Sure. Yeah. Them two just as I started the shooting went out the back door. Well, you want your coffee now? <laughs> oh, that's good, all right. Say, Liz, you got plenty of nerve, I tell you that. Yeah, Liz, you want yeah, let's have some light. Sure. All we've got is candles now. Well, that's better. Anybody here get hit? Uh, I reckon not. Everybody's standing up. Thanks, partner. I reckon you kept them coyotes from drilling me in the bank. Yo, and I'm certainly glad they didn't get you, mister. Yeah, so am I. Hey, hey, here comes the sheriff. Hey, what's going on here? Well, sheriff, I think you missed a good fight. Yes? Yes, you sure did, sheriff. Who started the shooting? Uh, well, uh, Well, it was this way, sheriff. Uh, when me and Whitey came in, there was two hombres sitting at the counter. Yes? Uh, me and Whitey were sitting here at the end. Has he? Uh, then another fella came in. Uh-huh. And the first two pulled guns and was aiming to shoot him in the back. Yo, I was kind of species and I kept my eye on them. Uh, yeah, yeah, Whitey seen him draw. So he drawed two and hollered at him, and then the shooting started. Anybody hit? Uh, nope. And that's a miracle. Sure yeah, was a miracle. Which way did them hombres go? Uh, they went out through the kitchen. Well, where's the fella they were shooting at? Right here, sir. Well, uh, 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 did you know who it was? Didn't have time to notice. Ah. What's your name, mister? Tom Howard. My home is in Meadville. Tom Howard, I'm Eber. Well, come on, boys. We'll get up another posse and see if we can pick up the trail of them varmints. Come on. About time you was getting here, Jesse. Frank, we got some work to do. Are we robbing the bank or a train this time? Well, not so fast. I went in the cafe and two Jaspers sitting at the counter drawed guns and was aiming to drill me in the back. What? Yeah. There was a Swede at the counter, too. He saw him and drawed two. Yelled at him and, and the lead began flying. Uh, did you get him? No, I reckon not. The lights were shot out and when the smoke cleared, they was gone. Any idea who they was? Yeah. When the Swede yelled, I turned, and there was our old friend, Boots Bragg. Boots Bragg? Yep. And the other one? Missouri Mike. So that's the lay of the land. Yeah. Eh? We've been hearing a lot about Mike and his gang. Sure, and we're getting blamed for their jobs, too. If we had all our boys here, we'd clean up on them fast. Yeah, but, but wait till you hear what I found out. What? There's a gold shipment going out tonight on the train. Well, that is interesting. This might be our chance to meet up with Mike and Boots. All right, all right, all right now. Quiet, boys. Now listen. We're taking that gold train tonight. Sure, sure. We're with you, Mike. Say, uh, 
Tell them about who we met at the cafe, Mike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You'll get a laugh out of this, boys. Yeah. Me and Boots was eating in the cafe, and who walks in but Jesse James? Jesse uh, James, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Boots knowed him right off. Yeah. We was aiming to drill him when a suite at the counter opened up on us. Oh, oh, what happened? Now, wait. Everybody started shooting, and me and Boots got out by the back door. Did you get Jesse? Don't know about that. But if we did, we'll be hearing about it plenty. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> Tell him about the note to the sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. When we heard about the gold shipment, I, I got me an idea. Mm-hmm. Wrote a note to the sheriff and told him the James gang was aiming to hold up the train at Red Rock. Well, well, what's now, the idea? Well, well, yeah, well, now listen. I'm aiming to hold up the train at the bridge over Sand Creek. That's oh. five miles to the side of Red Rock. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Sheriff and his posse will be waiting for the James gang at Red Rock <laughs> and, <laughs> while we're taking the gold at Sand Creek. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. all right. And <laughs> even if Jesse is dead, the sheriff won't be missing a chance to get the rest of the James gang. Come on now, let's get moving. All right. Well, Lightning, what do you think of that note to the sheriff? Well, let me read it again. If you want to get the James gang, go to Red Rock. That's where they're aiming to hold up the gold train tonight. And it's signed, An Enemy of Jesse James. Yeah, Alice, yeah, that sounds like there might be a trap. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, but remember, Jesse James has got plenty of enemies who would double-cross him in a minute. Then, then, then you think that note is genuine? Well, can be sure, of course, but we can't overlook it, neither. Well, what do you reckon we'd, we'd ought to do? Well, Whitey told me all about the shooting at the cafe, but Sheriff, your posse didn't pick up the trail of them two gunmen. No, Dad ratted, and I'll bet they was a couple of the James boys. Yeah, sure they was. Well, what become of the stranger they were shooting at? Yeah, I don't know. Clean forgot about him. He said his name was, uh, uh, Tom, Tom Howard from Meadville. Oh, that's right. Well, we gotta decide on a definite plan of action. Well, we'll do whatever you say, Lightning. All right, Sheriff, get your men and go to Red Rock. Stay there until the train goes by. If this note's right and the James gang show up, well, you know what to do. You bet. Whitey, you and me are going to ride on that train. Yo, and I'll be honest, Conductor. We're due to pull out in, in an hour. I'll meet you boys at the train. Hey, what you want to do, Lightning? I'm going to ask the railroad to hold up the gold shipment and let the train go through. That's a good idea, Lightning. I sure hope some James boy shows up at Red Rock. <laughs> Howdy, mister. Ain't seen you since the big shooting. That's right, ma'am. Say, you're all dressed up in Sunday clothes. Yeah, going down to Ardmore to see my sister for a couple of days. Oh, I see. Going out on the train tonight? Sure. I'm waiting for my brother Bud. He's the conductor. Oh. Oh, here he is now. I'm all ready, Bud. Listen, Liz, uh, something's come up, and I don't think you'd better go on this train. What? You can go tomorrow just as well. But why can't I go tonight? Well, uh, there might be a holdup. A holdup? Yeah. Uh, The sheriff got a note saying the James boys was going to hold up the train at Red Rock. Do you think they will? Uh, I don't know. But Lightning Jim is fixing it so the gold shipment won't go out. You mean the train ain't going neither? Oh, sure, the train's going. Well, I'm going too. No, you ain't. You'll wait till tomorrow, and that's fine enough. I'll see you when I get back. Well, can you imagine my... Pardon me, miss, but I couldn't help overhearing your talk. Your brother is right. You don't want to be on no train that might be held up. Darn them James boys. If I had to meet up with them, I'd give them something that would burden their ears off. <laughs> Here. Say, what's all the rush? Where are we going, Jesse? For a little train ride. A train ride? What's the idea? I was just over to the cafe and heard the conductor talking to his sister. Yeah? He said the sheriff got a note saying the James boys was going to hold up the train at Red Rock. Oh, so that's it, eh? Now, who do you reckon sent that note? Well, less than I'm powerful wrong, I'd say it was Missouri Mike and Boots. Yeah. They're aiming to hold up the train and put the blame on us again. Right, and we've got to beat them to the draw. Well, what's your idea? Well, since we haven't got our boys with us, we'll ride on that train. Maybe we can catch up with Mike and Boots and uh, help the law badges at the same time. (laughs) That's good. Jesse James on the side of law and order. Yes. Boys, 
Yeah, it looks up. like we're all here, no? Yep, yep. Uh, what's your plan, Lightning? Well, I'm riding in the express car. Whitey, you go in one of them coaches with the passengers. Yeah, what's your Lightning? All right, boys. Uh, we're ready to go. All aboard! Hey, uh, Whitey, I'm going to go take up tickets. You kind of stay here, will you? Yo, all right, Todd, that do that. Well, hello there, Mr. Howard. Howdy, mister. Hey, where are you going? Why, the Ardmore. Pardon me, but I, I don't remember your name. Uh, Whitey, Whitey Larson. Well, Mr. Larson, this is my cousin, Elmer Jones. Oh, pleased to meet you, Mr. Jones. Uh, howdy. Oh, I see an empty seat over there. I think I'll take it. Well, I hope you have a nice trip. Yeah, thanks, and the same to you. is the bridge over Sand Creek. How do we work, Mike? Jake covers the engineer. Uh, Joe and Pete get the gold in the express car. Yeah. Me and Boots will take the coach in. Sure, sure, sure. We got you. And while we're working, the sheriff and his posse will be waiting for the James boys at Red Rock. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> there she comes. Wait. With them logs across the track, she's got to stop. Stopping here for whenever happy was. Yes, sir. This is it. Yeah. This is a hold up. Come on, come on, come on, mister. Get away from me. Put that pocketbook in the bag. Mike, we better get out of here. Sounds like trouble. Stick up your hands, mister. Why, you. Oh, nice suit. Look out, look out. Look out, look out. Go to work, Hannah. You got Missouri Mike. Yo, and you got the other one, Mr. Howard. See, these are the same two you just have us in the cafe. Yeah, I reckon we both cut even with them coyotes that was going to drill us both in the back. Whitey, Whitey, did you get them? Yo, there they are. Good work, Whitey. Well, they must happen outside, Lightning. Well, there was three of them out there. And Lightning Jim drilled them all. Lightning Jim. Quiet, quiet, all of you. Did you shoot both these Jaspers, Whitey? No, I killed this one here. His name is Missouri Mike. And the other one? Uh, the fellow that's wounded there. Well, I don't know who he is. Well, I do. Whitey, this is Boots Bragg. Used to belong to the James gang. Uh, yes, the James boys. Uh, I'm Boots Bragg, all right. But I'm tired. So, so you won't be hanging me. Yeah, well, that'll save the state some money, Boots. By the way, Whitey... How'd you know this other Jasper is Missouri Mike? Right, that's what Mr. Howard said his name, was. Mr. Howard? Yo, he was the fellow uh, I told you about in the cafe. Well, he was on the train, and when these eagles come in, I shot Mike, and he got the other one. Well, where is this Mr. Howard? Hey, Mr. Howard? Well, well see, that's funny. Why, why, he was serious to me, the boy. Yeah, why, he and that fellow that was with him just got off the train. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Law Badge. <laughs> He fooled you plenty. His name ain't Hart. Is that so? <laughs> well, if you know so much, who was he? That... That was Jesse James. The real Jesse? Jesse James? You been Yemeni. <laughs> And so ends another thrilling chapter in the lives of United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy, Whitey Larson. <laughs>